Hey, I'm Michael Bishop out here at the new Lexus of Greenville today, and I want to talk about this StormTech underground system that we're about to put in. Yesterday, we set this five foot diameter manhole over a 30 inch HDPE line. Uh, later on today, we will be digging the area for these uh, new MC3500 StormTech chambers. There'll be 36 chambers. Um, there'll be an outlet structure right here that is quite large, a manifold, down on the other end, there'll also be a catch basin and another manifold. So we want to kind of keep you updated as we do this project throughout the week. And I'd love for you to be able to see it from start to finish and explain some of the intricacies of putting in a StormTech system. All right, this is day three update of our StormTech underground system. Uh, day two, you don't have an update because we got an inch of rain. So we spent yesterday pumping that inch of water out, which equated to about 14 inches in the bottom of this pond. So. Uh, we don't plan the weather, unfortunately. Anyway, um, got the pond dug out. We have set that outlet structure this morning and the pipe that goes out. Uh, the pipe's mortared up. Now we're putting the geotextile fabric in. Uh, the next step, we will do a perforated underdrain, and that is designed to drain the bottom nine inches of this stone. So uh, hopefully by the end of the day, we'll have this fabric in, and we'll start putting our nine inches of wash stone in the bottom. So we've got, uh, we've finished up our hole, got our geotextile fabric down, um, then we added our perforated underdrain, then we added our uh, woven geotextile fabric. We have put our end caps in, uh, got our clamps on, got everything plumbed in, and we've got our first chamber stack for each row. So just want to give you an update of how we're progressing here today. So here we have the system all plumbed together. You've got uh, catch basin there which also serves as access to get inside the system if you ever need to clean it. Um, you've got both these uh, rows of chambers, which both of them in this system are, are called isolated rows. Um, all that's plumbed together. Um, we have started putting the top 12 inches of stone on the system. After that's done, we will encapsulate it in geotextile fabric, and we'll come back with a 24 inch lift of dirt above the chamber. At that point in time, we can get on it with a bigger machine. So that's, then on the other end there, we've got a catch basin we plumbed in and a line that actually feeds into this system. So almost done with the system. All right, here we are looking inside of the outlet control structure of this underground storm tech system that we built. First of all, if you will look over in this uh, back corner, uh, just on the other side of the wall, you can see our perforated under drain pipe. So that's designed to drain any of the very last little bit of water that's in the underground system. So at times, it actually can be completely dry. Then you see the baffle wall that we've constructed here. And the purpose of that is, when it's time to clean the system, you see the pipe that's to the right and the pipe that is behind us right here. They'll take a fire hose with backward nozzles. And so basically, when they turn the fire hose on, it will feed itself into the chambers. And as they pull it out backwards, it will flush the water into this area right here that we've created by building this baffle wall. So all the sediment will be contained right here and then we'll take a jet vac truck and vacuum it out. So that is how you maintain this StormTech system when it's installed. All right, here we are with the uh, StormTech system completely finished. You can see we have it all backfilled and up to grade. Uh, we have inlet protection. Um, hardware cloth and gravel around that catch basin that feeds into the system. Right here we have our, uh, another access point into the system. If you need to get in there and service the system, you need to clean it or just to get in there and inspect it. This will be cut off to grade once we figure out what grade is. Uh, we will set a manhole cover on top of it and it will get an 18 inch concrete donut around it for protection. Um, you have another look at the manhole access cover for the outlet structure. You can see the concrete block there we've had to adjust the grade. You have a two by three uh, frame and grate right there that will drain the parking lot water into that system. Another look at our um, doghouse manhole still waiting on the lid to finish that off. But here it is, a complete system, uh, all said and done. Um, just wanted to give you an overview of kind of how it finished out.